So today I wanted to make a quick video about my art journals that I made for my Etsy store. These junk art journals are intended for you to glue down small bits and bobs that you tend to save or you have lying them around. So make simple art without judgment of how it looks like. A lot of people are saying they lost their mojo, so junk art journals are the best way to get your mojo back, um, even if that's just putting some paint on the pages or doodling or doing whatever. It is really inspiring and I think it's a great way if you lost your mojo to get it back i'm gonna flip like really quickly so you can see what's inside and if you like them you can purchase them in my etsy shop the link is down below so you can go check um so i'm going just to start with this one the cover is the capital city of uh, slovenia and i really like it and on the back it's like really nice green color and let me just flip through okay that's the first page um, on the first side, the text is turned upside down because this was a big, huge pamphlet uh, that you actually would open. Um, and I utilized that to make a soft cover. This is newspaper that I painted on both sides. I used um, PVA to make it really sturdy. So it's not sticky, it's, it's semi-glossy and it's really, really nice. Like a thick page, it feels like really thicker okay and then i have another page this is some collage that i made to get you going i included a empty page in the middle so you can do a spread or something that you would like to do just you know whatever you wish then i included some of the drop sheet paper here um, and more of the collaged papers together. I think I just collaged this page and put a little bit of paint on. Um, and these are those two pages that I really really like for this um, art journal. So this is the first one. Okay so this is the second art journal that I put in my shop. Um, I really like how it looks like. It's like way different and um, I try to collage it and you can do way more to it if you wanted to. So everything is from recycled materials, um, even the cover. Um, so I put some of the advertisements in and I put some paint on. So it's not just blank page. I think this one is gessoed on the back. Just gessoed. And some more papers that I played with to get you inspired. Another page that is painted. More collaging and playing for you to start. And I really love this spread. Looks really nice. I love the pink <laughs> for some reason. And another one. That's, we're going back now. And the back is this one. I really love it. And then since I had some of the paper from here, I even put a border here because I thought that looks really nice. And the back. There is a lot of a lot of colors. And this is a newspaper and dictionary page. This is one of the stickers that I got in a supermarket uh, whenever you purchase something um, more than five euros um, and I just collage it together and I think it looks really nice. This is the last art journal that I have. Um, I doodled and cut the paper out and I made this um, nice looking cover. Um, I really like it. Um, you can put your name here if you wanted to. And this is just glued on. It's like a dimensional like two or three layered uh, pieces of flower. So, um, again, soft cover, and this is the inside. I gessoed it. I put a little bit of paper on and uh, made some stitching, faux stitching. These are some of the packaging from stickers that I just included on, and I think it looks really nice. Another play with my painted papers. More playing. 
This is really, really old comic book, like from 1930s, um, that it was torn and I just included because I think like colors go together really nicely. Then we have purple and purple and orange mix. This is my grandmother's writing. So I included those circles. Um, this was the advertisement. I just put a solid white paper through the writing that was here. So you can try to incorporate that in whatever you're going to be doing. And more of my grandmother's um, diary pages. And the back. It's really cute, I would say. Looks like uh, I just made some tr triangles and doodled a little bit to make it more interesting. And I like the back as well. Basically, this um, junk art journals are your practice journal where you shouldn't feel overwhelmed by many white pages. So that's why I started some of the pages already so you can get your motivation going. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.